been a long time. Oh, I, I, it's been so long since I've been here. I forgot there's a live button that I have to wait for. But now I figured it out. I'm back. It's been a really long time since I've played singles here. I think I remember how to do this. I have to watch movies and write like questions to figure out questions about. I don't know. I'm here against Coho. He was my first match in this whole thing, I think. And we kind of have a little rivalry. It's friendly-ish. I don't know. Our teams play each other constantly in something else, and we never played each other except in here. I look forward to it. I adulted the crap out of today and had to sit there and listen to a window installer for four straight hours, so I have like 15 minutes of studying under my belt. This could go either beautifully or terribly, but, yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm going to eat. Uh, Yeah. Last time I played Anthony, I lost. Don't want to do that again. Um, last time I played here was in teams against Kelly and Michael, and we lost pretty bad um, because neither of us had the time to watch Billy Madison. That didn't happen today. I watched Surf Ninjas. It's better than all five Twilights. Suck it, Spence. Let's play. Hey, everybody. Let's see. Let me go with Spence's script. Insult the audience. I'm not going to do that. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is Antel Singles. I'm John Moore. With me, as sometimes, is Jack Pinchuk. Jack, how are you doing today? Oh, not too bad. Uh, it's been it. Didn't sleep much last night. Didn't get to nap today. It's been a good day. All right, we just we need you for a good thirty to thirty-five minutes. Can you can you do that for us? All right. Well, yeah, we yeah. have we have two seasoned competitors. I didn't even give them instructions. They've been here so many times. They know exactly what's going on. I'll bring them in. One at a time. Uh, the higher rank competitor, we'll introduce him first. You know him. You you love him. Some people pretend they don't like him, but they really love him. It's uh, Caleb the Kinko. What's up, dude? Doing decent. I don't know if they're pretending if they don't, but it doesn't bother me none. And his opponent, I think everybody likes him just because they look at him and they're like, I like this guy. It's, it's Anthony Tinsel. What's up? Come on in here. What's up? Appreciate that. I think I have a yeah. good face. Yeah, that's what everybody tells me. Like his face is so nice. Uh, you know, how does yeah, how do how do they deal? I don't know. It's very hard to hate Anthony's face. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so you guys, we're, this is round one. You, you've been here so many times, you know what it is. But in case this is your first time watching this video, what a weird video to pick as your first video. What happens in the first round is they get ten questions in random categories. They're going to write in their whiteboards their answers. I'll call on them. They'll turn their boards around. We'll just say if they're right or wrong. If they do happen to get all ten of them right, they'll get a bonus question. No questions from you guys, right? Yeah. Jack, I'll take I'll take the odds. You take the evens. And here we go. Your first question comes in the category of the 1970s. Who directed What's Up, Doc? And you will get 20 seconds for each question to answer those questions. Everybody gets three repeats in a challenge. In case it's your first time watching, those are all the rules. If I forget me, I'll just keep tossing them out there. Jack, you doing okay so far? Oh, yeah. We're going to see those answers in five, four, three, two, one. I'll start with Anthony since he's on top. I have no clue. I have Norman Jewison. And go. I said Richard Donner. Both incorrect. Looking for Peter Bogdanovich. Sure. That. Oh, yes, it's me. Yeah. Uh, your second question comes in the category of animation. In what Studio Ghibli film will you find a fire demon named Calcifer? I've watched so few of these movies that is it is it Ghibli or Ghibli? Or does it matter? No. What will get you punched? Which Ghibli one gets you? Bothered me when I hear Ghibli because that just doesn't sound right to me. But uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna find that out for the next time. Ask <clears throat> the question for this. But let's see what they wrote. In five, four, three, two, one. We'll start with Coho this time. Howl's Moving Castle. And Anthony. Is the wind the wind rises one? Howl's Moving Castle is one, and that's the answer. Your third question comes in the category of fantasy sci-fi. What kind of location does Stanley work at in The Mask? I, you know, actually, you know, I was going to say something about locations where people work, but that's, you can't do that. You can't talk about locations people work because that might, you know, could influence somebody's answer. Do you enjoy your right. job, Jack? Uh, well, that's a no. Uh, okay, no. Five, oh, no. <laughs> four, three, <laughs> two, one. Anthony. Bank. And go. Bank. Bank is correct. All right. And your next question comes in the category of war. In okay. 2008, <laughs> Sorry. 
In 2008's Valkyrie, Tom Cruise's character assembles a team for a secret mission with what objective? Have been any uh, Clint, top, just top, I can't top secret you. missions lately, Jack? I wish. My life would be so much more interesting. Uh, but my name isn't Caleb Boatman, so the answer is unfortunately no. All right. Good question. Three, two, one. We'll go to the co host. Uh, assassinate Adolf Hitler. And Hitler. Kill Hitler. I'm going to accept both of those. Because usually when you assassinate someone, the end result is to kill. True. Your, your next question comes in the category of the 1990s. The 1996 film Train Spotting primarily takes place in what country? This film comes highly recommended to me by one Cameron J. Holzman. Don't know if his middle name is Jay. Uh, I still haven't seen it. <laughs> Like I said about a lot of films, uh, I read the book first. <laughs> so, five, four, three, two, one. We're back up to Anthony. Scotland. And Coco. I went with Ireland. Scotland is correct. Yeah. Ireland is another one on my mind. That's why they talk like that. All right. Your next question comes in the category of musicals. What type of or in what type of location does Audrey Hepburn's character work before becoming a model in Funny Face? Oh, everybody's going to go right to the boards in this one, I'm sure. Be beloved in this community. Yes. I have heard that this movie is one of the not good ones, and I, I agreed with that on this, on this case. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I haven't seen it. Oh, you should def definitely watch it. It's great to right. watch what's going on. It's great when they call her ugly the whole movie. Three, yeah, two, one. Audrey Hepburn, how is that possible? And we're back to Coho. I said a department store. And Anthony. A bookstore. Bookstore is correct. Ah. Your next question comes in Coming of Age. What 90s coming of age film stars Steve Zahn, Janine Garofalo, Ethan Hawke, and Monona Ryder? Giving you basically so much of the cast. The hell of a cast. So much of the cast. What a cast. Steve Zahn just kind of kind of shows up in movies randomly, and it's usually a pretty good time. He's also just got a lovable face. That guy. No, for example. So, so lovable. Five, true. four, three, two, one. Uh, Anthony. Stab in the dark with Dead Poets Society. And Kyle. I said school ties. Looking for reality bites. Reality bites. Ah. Yeah. All right. Your next question comes in the category of movie release dates. Fuck in what year was Gremlins released? They yeah, were certainly more quickly for they were anyways. certainly they were certainly released a lot in that movie. They released a lot of a lot of Gremlins in that movie. Yeah. That is that is the truth. They, yeah, just just yep. writing. Ho hopefully you wrote four numbers on your board in five, four. I just wrote five, so fuck. Two. Shit. <laughs> One. And we're back down to go. So 1982. And Anthony. I just want the year of my birth, 1986. If you split the difference, you have the right answer. 1984. Everything's 1984. Yeah. Your next uh, question comes in the category of recent releases. What 2021 film features supporting performances by Brendan Gleeson, Corey Hawkins, and Harry Mellon? I know one of them. Say anything because I might give the answer away. Yeah, don't do that. I will gladly take a clue. We ain't we ain't giving away no free points. This is Antel. Go to something different for stuff. Five, four, three, two, and one. Anthony, go ahead. What do you what do you not? I don't have? even know what came out in twenty twenty one. That's fair. Coho. Uh the tragedy of Macbeth. And Coho ties it up. Oh, wasn't doing that. I don't feel bad. Great anymore. movie. It's four I'm four going into the last question. Go ahead, Jack. All right. Your final question of the round comes in the category of directors. Who directed Ricky and the Flash, Rachel Getting Married, and 2004's The Manchurian Candidate? Not not bad. I haven't seen any of these movies. <laughs> I've seen, I've, no seen I, I've seen two of them, which most people are like, wow, that's a lot of movies for John to have seen out of three movies. Five, four, three, two, 
Three, two, it's made up a name. One, Cuff. Is it Edward Zwick? And Anthony. Oh shit! I said David Zwick. Well, it it would have been Edward Zwick if that was the right answer, but the right answer is Jonathan Demme. Oh, Jonathan Demme. With that, we are tied four to four. Is that what you have, Jack? That is indeed what I have. We are going to go into round two. Round two is the deep cuts round. Both of our contestants chose a movie prior to this. Uh, hopefully they watch those movies. Uh, if we ask questions about the contestants movie, uh, they'll get one point for the answer and their opponent will get two points. Then we switch it around on the other movie. Uh, the movies they picked today are the Batman and surf ninjas. And since we have a tie score, Caleb, you're the higher ranked competitor. Do you want questions from your movie, The Batman, or I assume Anthony picked Surf Ninjas? His movie, Surf Ninjas. Uh, no, I actually picked Surf Ninjas. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I would like <laughs> questions from Surf Ninjas first. Uh, very equal quality films we have here. I will. Uh, Jack, I don't know about that. Jack, do you want to ask the Surf Ninjas questions? Or you want the Batman questions? What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, well, I, I mean, I'd like the Batman questions, but whatever you don't want, I'll. Take. Oh well, then I'll read these Surf Ninjas questions. No problem. Here we go. Yeah, on brand. Your Surf first I mean, Surf Ninjas just sounds like, you know, it sounds like my kind of movie. I'll get around to it. It, it definitely is your kind of movie. Yeah. Oh, you'd love it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. I, de I definitely remember the advertising for it when it came out. Good All right. Your first question in Surf Ninjas. Mac tells Johnny and Adam that they can't listen to what band before he has his coffee. I wrote down the inverse of this note. Oh. <laughs> Inverse. All right. Let's see what the answers are in five, four, three, two, one. Anthony. I believe it's Van Halen. And Coho. I said Metallica. Definitely Van Halen. And those answers just let me know where this movie came out. <coughs> Number two. How long was Padusan ruled by Johnny and Adam's family? This is probably wrong. Let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. Co, what do you got? 4,000 years. And Anthony. <laughs> nope. 4,000 years is correct. <laughs> Missed that by about 3,990. So. <laughs> Your third question Iggy said, What two words give him incredible powers before he accidentally loses them? That is a very weirdly worded question, but I believe that's how it goes down in the movie. I believe it. I really um, want you to watch this movie now, and I want to know your opinion. Of this I'm not gonna lie; I had a I had a blast. It's I, thought a great was, time. I thought this was really fun. It's not like necessarily like good, but it's it's fun. It's it's more fun than any of the Twilight movies. I'm that's sure. uh, I I think it's genuinely a better quality movie. Anthony, what you got? What if? And go. Oh fuck! I said I wish. Damn it! What if is the correct answer? Your fourth question. When specifically does Spence swallow a handcuff key? And I imagine we're talking oh. about the character in the movie, not our beloved Spence, who might also swallow handcuff keys. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm jury's out on that one. I'm not sure what the heck just happened, but I don't want to know. I, I can see Spence having like an escape. Four, three. Two, one, co -ho. Uh They say last Tuesday and every Tuesday. And Anthony. I just said Tuesday. Every Tuesday, Tuesday, last Tuesday, Tuesday's right. Goodness. And your fifth and final question in Surf Ninjas. What is used to light the dynamite Izzy throws at Cheese Henchman chasing them? This sounds like a hell of a time. I mean, I, you know, I, I haven't lit, I haven't lit dynamite in some time, but you know, definitely, definitely a, a prime way to light dynamite. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're back up to Anthony. I just said a lighter. And co. Uh, cigarette slash a cigarette box. Since your cigarettes are before the slash, I'll give you cigarettes. Cigarettes is the correct answer. Use the whole thing and the thing. Yeah. It's the setup for my favorite joke of the movie where he's like, you should get the patch. Well, who am I talking to? <laughs> so good. I laughed really hard. With that, I have... I'm so happy you enjoyed it. I have, really 
have Coho in the lead with 10 and Anthony behind him with seven. Is that what you have, Jack? Uh, yes. All right. So you can ask those fantastic Batman questions. The Batman. The Batman questions. All right. So your, your questions from the Batman. What is the slang term Selena uses to describe the people addicted to the drugs the penguin is selling? That just sounds mean. I don't support the othering of any kind of people. That's fair. Yeah. We'll see those answers in five, four, three, two, one. Coho, what you got? Drop heads. And Anthony. Drop heads. Both correct. All right. Your second question from the Batman. How long does Coulson have to answer the rid the Riddler's riddles before the bomb on him blows up? I should have read these questions before. Uh, no, Matt, I, I like you going in blind. I like it. Yeah. It's it's a good test. You never know. You think on your toes, and you're tired. So this is this is exactly what happened in maybe a situation where you get kidnapped and tortured. So five, <laughs> four, and maybe you three, accidentally give away an answer two, that I can take. One. And we're up to Anthony. Uh, two minutes. And Coho. Two minutes. Two minutes is correct. All right. Uh, your next question from the Batman. What song is being sung in the recording before Thomas Wayne announces the Gotham Renewal Fund? Where is it? Batman's somewhere on my Blu-ray shelf. Take your word for it. A lot of Blu-rays back there. It's there. Somewhere behind me. And five, four, three, two, one. I believe we are back to Coho. Ave Maria. And Anthony. Ave Maria. Both correct. All right. Second. I'm very concerned. So isn't that just used all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Your next question from the Batman. Uh, what does Falcone use to attack Selina at the Iceberg Lounge? All these questions. You got people making fun of people with addiction issues. You got men attacking women. If this is really, these are whoever wrote these questions really had, should get their head examined. I don't know. It's ridiculous. I probably had to watch the Batman for three yeah. hours plus because I had to write any questions for it. Four. Three. It's a little back. One. I didn't. Uh, Anthony, go ahead. A pool cue. And go. So it came. Pool cue is correct. Great. And your final question in the Batman. Finish this line from Penguin. Tell you one thing, whoever she is, she's blank. Four words. Oh, God damn. I remember when I used to write these. I was a dick. Oh, fuck. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, I will say, I don't believe that that's Four. Colin Farrell. There's two I'll, know that I'll use a repeat on this. I know you're going to but... All right, your first repeat. Go ahead, Jack. All right. Finish this line from Penguin. Tell you one thing, whoever she is, uh, blank four words. And this just in, I got a hot message on the wire from Spence. Uh, whoever wins this is in the tournament, so you know, no pressure. The tournament, uh, allegedly. <sighs> Love that. And we'll go five, four, three, two. Repeat. Oh, Coho has repeat. Yeah, someone figured it out. All right. Uh, once again, your question, your final question in the Batman. Finish this line from Penguin. Tell you one thing, whoever she is, blank. Four words. I hope I'm right. That would be a really big overreaction if I'm wrong. <laughs> Three, two, I'm pulling for you now. Right one. Well, Coe, we're going to you first. She's one hot chick. And Anthony. Uh, basically, I just said she is gone now. She's one hot chick. That's nice. Correct. 
<laughs> with that at the end of round two, I have Anthony with 15, Coho with 14. Is that what you have? Uh, that is what I have. Perfect. Wait, We're going to go into Anthony, Wait, who with 15? Anthony has 15, Coho has 14. I have it the other way around. Nope. Is no, because I got me 14 me. Yeah, because oh, I got eight points out of that. Yeah, I just mixed something. Yeah. That's my bad. Yeah. There you go. You have one to the wrong person. It okay. happens. Good. All right. With, with that, we're going to go into round three. Round three is our IMDb round. There's two sets of questions. We'll see who chooses that in a second. For your two-point question, you're going to get the year, the actor, the genre. For your three-point question, you'll get the year, the director, and the keywords. And for your five-point, we're just going to give you the decade, and you get to pick any three out of the exact year, the director, the actor, a co-actor, the genre, and the keywords. I'm sure you guys understand that you've been here before. Anthony, since you're in the lead, you can have set one or set two. Uh, let's go two. Set two. So... Let's see. Since you read the Batman, I will read Coho his questions from set one. Sounds good. All right. Coho, your first question for two points. Your year is 1967. Your actor is Dustin Hoffman. Your genre is romance, drama, and comedy. Uh, the Graduate. That is correct for two points. All right. We'll go over, we'll go over to Anthony for his two points. All right. Anthony, your two-pointer. Your year is 1950. Your actor is Gloria Swanson, and your genre is drama. What the fuck is Gloria Swanson? <laughs> I feel like I should probably know this, because everyone's making these faces, um, but... That's okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Gloria! I don't know this movie. Sunset Boulevard. Uh, that's unfortunately incorrect. The answer we were looking for is Sunset Boulevard. Oh, right, so okay. Yeah. I do not remember the, her name. So we'll stick she's, there. She's uh, Norma Desmond. She's the main character. Oh, no. I I've, I know the movie. I just didn't know the actress's name. That's valid. That's fair. That's yeah. totally fair. All well, right. we'll, stick with, we'll stick with Anthony first three. Go ahead. All right, Anthony, your three pointer. Your year is 1996. Your director yeah. is Joe Johnston. And your keywords are board game, animals, oh. and hunter. Jumanji. That is correct. I thought that was 95. I didn't know what year, so yeah. it really didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Coho, your, your three-pointer. Your year is 1990. Your director is Gary Marshall. And your keywords are hotel, prostitute, and Hollywood. Uh, pretty woman. That is correct for three points. All right. And I believe we go back to Anthony now for five pointer. You yep. okay. Uh your decade is the twenty tens. Uh you can take year, director, actor, co actor, genre, or keywords. You can take three of those. What do you want? Actor, co actor, and keywords. All right. Your actor is Nicole Kidman. Your co actor is Sebastian Stan, and your keywords are LAPD, Undercover, uh, Ghosts of the Past. Sorry, LAPD, Undercover, and Ghosts of the Past. All right, you're not gonna help me here, buddy. Uh, five, four. All right. Once again, your actor is Nicole Kidman, your co-actor is Sebastian Stan, and your keywords are LAPD, Undercover, and Ghosts of the Past. What? Four. I'll use the last one. Maybe something will pop All right. in my head. All right. And once and once again, your actor is Nicole Kidman. Your co-actor is Sebastian Stan. And your keywords are LAPD, Undercover, and Ghosts of the Past. Hmm. 
Nah. Uh, good job, Kel. I got nothing. I can't even think. And you're a winner. Caleb Coho. The movie we're looking for is Destroyer. Destroyer. What the fuck is that? That's, that's what Destroyer is about. Okay. Yeah. I, I only would have known that movie? off the director. Yeah. So with that, oh, we're gonna we're right gonna now. go to our post match interviews. We'll just reduce the screen a little bit. We're starting with our unfortunate second place finisher, Anthony Tizzo. Anthony, I, I, it was close, really. Just that that sunset Boulevard thing kind of just threw off the whole cadence in, in the third round. So other than that, it, it would have flipped the other way, and the pressure would have been on Coho. So close match. How you feeling? Uh, we were tied after round one, which is fine. Uh, we're we're pretty even when it comes to general. I think. Um, Deep cut, I did better than I thought. I literally, like, I wasn't kidding. I had 15 minutes to read this thing while I was cooking. Um, but I did recently watch them both love Surf Ninjas, obviously, because, you know, Kwan Su, dude. Um, but otherwise, you know, round three is always my, it is my kryptonite. I am awful at it. I have been forever, and I will continue to be bad at it. And, uh, you know, that's how it is. Koho played well, knew the questions he needed to know. And I just – I didn't know who that person was. I know the movie. I've seen the movie. I enjoy the movie. I can tell you a lot about the plot of the movie. I don't know who the fuck's in it. So, um, hey, you know what? It happens. Uh, it was fun to be back. I do enjoy the deep cuts. I had fun. I didn't really have fun watching the Batman. But, you know, I got to watch Star Finch again. Win-win for me. Uh, Cole played well. So, nothing I can say. All right. Thank you for having you. And we will bring in Caleb. You pulled it out. You got yeah. – you, you've evened it up. How you feeling? Um, I feel pretty okay. Uh, I don't feel great about how I played in round one. That's like a really low end round one for me. I guess it was just a little out of my wheelhouse. Um, I'm gonna. I thought I like totally like I had I had Ireland and I had like should I use the repeat and change it to Scotland? I think it might be Scotland like, because I don't think I remember it being Irish. I was like, not nah, trust your gut. Should I flipped it? Um, I thought that was gonna end up costing me. I thought what if versus I wish was gonna cost me because as soon as he said, I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Um, I worked out a lot of deep cuts about. Riddler riddles and answers for no reason. Uh, and that's that's always a fun moment to have. Um, but hey, Surf Ninjas was actually pretty decent. So. And, Fun you suits. know, Spence, why may say you are in the tournament, so I'm going to say it again, you are in the tournament. So how you feel about that? I'm excited. Hopefully I'm hopefully I'm a little bit more in game shape when I show up in the tournament because I want to make a decent run. But, yeah, I'm excited to be in. Uh, excited to play more often. And, yeah. Uh, we'll see how I do. I just, I, I, I think Anthony played really solid today, uh, and and in literally a few question difference, he takes it. So, um, I feel like if I if I want to make a deep run, I should I just got to brush up on some of the stuff that I messed messed up in round one, and maybe watch, take better deep cut notes. It's been a while since I've had to do that, so I think well, I maybe needed more better notes on my movies. <laughs> You're, you're a delight as usual, Caleb. So we're, I'm sure we'll see you soon. I'm sure I'll see you sooner than soon. This is true. But we're we're going we're gonna to throw you out of this right now. I'm going to close this thing down for today. Hey, everybody, that was Antle. That was Antle Singles. And it was a great match. You know, congratulations to Caleb moving on. Anthony, we're going to see him again. We see him all over the place. We'll definitely see him again somewhere. Uh, until next time, uh, that's Jack Pinchuk. Final thoughts, Jack. Uh, yeah, I know. It, a bit of a rough round one for both players, but uh, but hey. Uh, you can only answer the questions that you get, uh, so it's a little, it's all good. Uh, they they both did very good in the deep cut round, and it, it just came down to Sunset Boulevard for uh, for Anthony, unfortunately, and that's fair. I I'll tell you what I didn't know uh, Gloria Swanson uh, when I saw it in high school, so that's fair. But no, uh, hard fought game on both ends, but uh, hey, Coho. Coho was able to come away with the win, so that's always uh, always fun. All right, and, and I'm John Marr for Adelaide Spence and the rest of the writers. Uh, for Anthony says though for Caleb Coho, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, if you got this far, like and subscribe. You know we can definitely use all the support we can get. Uh, be good people. Uh, fight the virus and uh, don't let you know say say mean things to mean people. Show them how mean they are. That's that's the watered down version of what Spence would say. Until then, this has been awful.